Dear students, in this module, we'll look at a flowchart for the process describing the extraction of the open reading frames or simply the ORFs. The background, as you would know, is that there are three uh, nucleotides in every codon and there are multiple codons that can code for an amino acid and in all there are about 20 amino acids. Out of these different combinations there is one start codon and three stop codons and you are looking for valid start and valid end in order to obtain the protein sequence. The start sequence will be methionine and the stop codon will determine the position where you will stop converting the codons, the following codons, into, into the amino acids. So let's take a look at the flowchart. So first you start with obtaining the RNA sequence. In case you do not have the RNA sequence, instead you have the DNA sequence, then you can simply replace the T with U's. And therefore you will arrive at the RNA sequence yourself. So after that, you start from the list of three ORFs beginning at first, second, and third nucleotide. So as you know, for the five prime to the three prime end, there are three possibilities for the ORF. And similarly, on the complementary strand, that is the three prime to five prime, you have three other additional possibilities for the ORF. Therefore, you start with the five prime to three prime end, you have three ORFs, and you translate each codon starting from the start codon that is methionine you code for the amino acids until you arrive at the stop codon remember the complementary sequence you have to extract ORFs for that as well so you have to obtain the complementary sequence if you don't have it by simply finding the complementary nucleotides for each nucleotide that exists within the sequence then you list the three ORFs for the complementary sequence as well. So first you have done three nucleotides, uh, three ORFs, and now you're doing three ORFs additionally. So in all, there are six possible ORFs. This is very important to remember. Now, you have to look at all six open reading frames or ORFs and try to find where A, T, and G exist, which actually code for methionine. Now, you have to code each codon into amino acid until the stop codon is reached because that will mark the end of the protein. But there are six possibilities that you had and you want to know which one is the longest. So if you think, if you know that this is the longest nucleotide sequence that is encoding for the amino acids, then you select it. Otherwise, you go back. And you select a different ORF, let's say ORF number 2 or ORF number 3, ORF number 4, 5 and 6. And you select the one which forms the longest protein. So once you know which ORF forms the longest protein, you select that ORF and you convert it into the amino acids. And that is the protein that will be encoded by that portion of your RNA. So in conclusion, you must remember that both forward and reverse sequences need to be considered and that the forward sequence 5' prime to 3' prime will encode for three different ORFs and the reverse, the complementary sequence, will also code for three ORFs and you have to select which ORF forms the longest protein. 